Hello there and welcome to our Shield of the Sun video. In this video we're going to be talking about Montauk. Many of you have probably heard about Project Montauk. Many of you have probably heard other things about Montauk. This Montauk we're talking about has some, happens to do with the region known as Montauk, which is an island in New York State. This island in New York State has had a lot of strange history that went on with it, even during colonial days and even before it. Native American tribes of that region, long before the Europeans established colonies here, believed that the island was cursed, that there was a certain energy to this island. When colonial persons came here and started to set up the colonies here, they would talk about strange flying discs ships, ships of light, and, and other descriptions from this island. They would literally see ships fly up out from under the waters. They would see ships land on it, visitations from what they call aliens and other type of beings. In fact, a whole lot of strange history took place there. Shamans used to go to this island to channel spirits. All kinds of energies and things were known to take place on the, upon this island known as Montauk. If you go to Montauk Island today, what you'll see is a very overexpensive resort. What you'll see are people with motels, hotels, and things of this sort, where a lot of people come there to do a lot of immoral things, or they're just coming there to have vacation with their family. But what goes on at Camp Hero, what goes on underneath that island. What goes on in places where the tourists are not allowed to go is a frightening thing and a horrible thing to be sure. A lot of testimony has come out from people who have actually worked in Camp Hero, who actually worked within the region of Montauk. Even citizens themselves have reported seeing many, many strange things regarding their island and the region known as Montauk. So let's get more into it. You may not know this, but it was believed that George Washington, one time leading the Revolutionary Army, had one time had a holdover at Montauk Island as they were hiding from the British one night. It was believed that George Washington had many apparitions there. George Washington, for someone who didn't take supernatural matters seriously, often had supernatural encounters. One of these encounters took place in Montauk where it's believed that George Washington saw what is called a UFO. It is believed that he's even seen more than that. It was even believed he was visited by time travelers at that island. This is a story that is hardly not told to you in history books, and it is hardly even not repeated at all. But there is a reason why the government picked the Montauk Island and built Camp Hero there. It had a lot to do with the history that went on there and the continued history that still goes on there. If you'd like to know the range of things that are said about Montauk, it goes very much like this. You might have heard of a person named Nikolai Tesla, who I did a video on. Tesla did a lot of his experiments in New York State. In fact, he set up a lot of the energy grids and a lot of the way we produce water and convert it for electricity and things of the sort. In fact, he oversaw a lot of projects, some being, well, out in view of open to, to the public, meaning allowed to be known to the public, and most of it being classified work for the U.S. government. This classified work for the U.S. government is rather interesting. Tesla created weather modification devices. His weather modification devices were believed to be able to tap into the space-time light streams of our atmosphere and even of the orbital planet movements themselves. Tesla's experiments and his devices were able to produce things like looking into the realms of time, seeing into other dimensions, even traveling and teleporting to other places, every, anything from invisibility to actually opening up windows to allow not only persons to enter other worlds, other places of time, not only to bend light, to enable invisibility among persons, but also 
to enable to open doors that would let other beings from other dimensions into our dimension. Now the Bible calls these habitances as being real. These places do exist. This matter of organization, this extraordinary function within our natural order does exist. There is this thing called angels. There is this thing called heaven, hell, God, beings that come from another world. The Bible talks very much about this. But would it be shocking for you to know, is our government having devices to enable them to tap into places that human beings are forbidden to tap into, or even to learn more about without the covering and discernment that could be provided by the Holy Spirit? Meaning taking it into their own hands to learn about things the Bible has always warned them about. This is something that needs to be talked about. So let's look more into it. Nikolai Tesla did a lot of his experiments, a lot of his devices, working with usually college universities, primarily one known as the University of Chicago and universities also in New York City, California, many places within the states. They will cultivate these experiments into government military bases, many of these bases being underground, located under mountains, islands, things of this sort. One of them was Montauk Island. Montauk Island had built several devices. Their most primary device was a weather modification device, is what they called it. But this device was able to do more than just control the weather. It was believed also that it can open portals. When they started experimenting with open portals, they started to master the quantum physics of their devices to enable them to, to know what kind of power surges and what kind of frequencies that they would unleash with their devices. These frequencies enabled them to see events into the future and into the past. These frequencies even enabled them to have invisibility. These frequencies enabled them to develop anti-gravity engines. These frequencies enabled them to open up portals so that beings could come from those portals and instruct their scientists in how to better master the technology they were dealing with. Technology that was believed to be given by all of those involved, including Tesla, by occult forces. These occult forces are described in the Bible as being nothing but the host of Satan, coming in various forms and ways. The Montauk Project has been going on since the early 1900s. There were even shamans, rituals, ceremonies taking place on those islands way before there was even a United States of America. This place definitely is cursed. One of the avenues about this is that when they would open up these portals and let these demons in, who they want to call aliens, other things would come with them as well. These dimensional worlds that they would peer into look almost exactly like our world today. It is a parallel world. Imagine a place that looks just like New York or looks just like New Mexico. It looks just like any other state you've been to other than the fact that it's haunted it's empty, and there are strange demonic creatures, which you would call living monsters, lurking behind those worlds. The dimensional worlds resemble the parallel function of our world because they are connected by the realm of God's mysterious plan, the, the, the Rome and the organization of temptation and the matters that pertain to the angelic order. And when mankind decides to open up these fields, they let out something that is horrible to consider. A lot of what became what is called so-called alien abduction, meaning there are people being abducted and experimented on. A lot of these policies were seen from the demons who set up places for this to take place at. One of them is Montauk. It has often been believed that our government knows exactly about these type of things and they work within within underground military bases and classified operations involving the very thing that they deny and cover up day in and day out. One of the aspects about opening up dimensional portals is the fact that you would have to rip a hole into the atmosphere in order to do that. You have to manipulate the weather to do that. You have to manipulate the weather to do other types of things as well, which is to develop ships that can hyper jump through the atmospheres and through the light streams of our universe and propel itself from one world to another in a matter of minutes. It would take a lot of strain on the orbitable streams and the space-time streams as well. 
to force things open that aren't to be open at that time, to let things in that aren't supposed to be let in. So then they have to bioengineer the atmosphere in order to keep this up. We have chemtrails being dropped for, for various reasons. One of the reasons is, is that our world is changing and that things are being allowed to breathe and have air while human race is being affected to be mind controlled and brainwashed to the ideas that come from the creatures that Montauk allows on, into our realm. One of the things you may have heard of is the experiments that went on at human beings at Montauk. And they have gone on for quite a long time, since the 1940s, in fact. And one of the first test experiments were actually U.S. Navy sailors, Marines, and other soldiers were subjected to various tests where they were killed, their deaths were made to look like something else, and their families got letters of their demise, which wasn't true in the manner that was explained to them. Those families weren't told that those soldiers were used for experiments. Experiments that saw these soldiers being eaten by demonic creatures, being inflicted with various diseases, and dying due to the happenstances of these experiments that went on and on and on. Soon they stopped using their own soldiers and they started to select children, kidnap victims, and people that they can get through abduction means or human trafficking. Later on, they started to find other ways to do it. And one of the things you'd heard about in the 1980s was this project known as Stargate. Now, the Stargate project actually was tied in with the Montauk project, and it was to select certain children with a certain blood, if you will, or a certain type of um, gene that they had in their blood. And this uh, certain type of gene that they had in their blood, the certain identification that was within their blood, usually these were children who were known to be quite empathic, Perhaps they were going to be prophets one day, ministers one day. Perhaps they had some purpose with God. Perhaps they come from a lineage where their family members had to deal with these parameters before. And they've inherited some kind of, some kind of protection that is within them to, to enable them to deal with it better. Now, these children didn't know they had some kind of blood type or didn't know about their own history, didn't know about the past, didn't know about any of those things. They were just one day trying to listen to their mother or father, whoever it may be, until someone came for them. Now, to understand what I mean is this. There were a group of kids who were experimented on at Montauk in the 1980s. These kids today would be full-grown adults today, as even if they survived this planet to see um, this world of today. But to understand it, these kids weren't asked to take part in experiments. They weren't told they were going to take part in experiments either, by the way. Many of their parents often weren't asked those questions either. Many of their parents were in situations where the government can take advantage of them. And take advantage they did. And many times these parents would be told lies or told nothing at all. It often didn't matter. They had technology to triangulate the position of these children, and that's all they needed. At this point, these children would be abducted, experimented on. These experiments ranged from anywhere from beta programming, testing beta programming functions, and testing delta programming functions. Beta programming also involves sexual experiments as well. Delta programming involves killer experiments as well. These kids, men and women, young boys and girls at the time, was subjected to all of it, by the way. And if you were to find one of these kids today and ask them what happened to them, most of them will look at you quite honestly and tell you they don't remember. Many of these kids had their memories wiped after these experiments, meaning they did things that they don't even know what they even did. They probably don't even want to know. But one thing you can make sure of is that they didn't do it by their own choice. They were mind controlled, they were pretty much programmed and they were controlled like a person controls a robot into doing the things they wanted them to do. And now these range from a lot of different things, things that you wouldn't even imagine. Many of them are used for teleportation experiments. Many of them are also sent to places they don't even remember, having to engage in things that were horrific to even think about. These actions didn't just take place here on Earth but it was believed that they even used them on other planetary worlds as well, some surviving, some not surviving. 
When these experiments were over, these children's minds were white and they were returned back to wherever they came from and returned back within a time as if their parents wouldn't even have known they were missing for those hours, days, whatever it was. Other types of experiments was just to convince the parents that their children needed some kind of help. So they're sent away on some medical leave, not knowing what was being done to them. These children would never be the same with or without the memories. They live lives that were very horrible, very hard, and very stressful on their minds, and they found it, they found it very hard to relate and cope within society. Many of them didn't make it. Many committed suicide. Many of them were murdered due to happenstances. Many of them ended up going insane or overly depressed, having regressed memories coming back many, many years later and not knowing what exactly happened to them when they were younger. This is what Montauk produced, by the way. When Montauk needed to get in touch with demonic beings so that they can advance shadow government technology, these beings always demanded human sacrifices. They always demanded human experiments. They always demanded some human they can do things to. And our governments were willing to give it to them. Of course, they were willing to give it to them because they'll tell you about national security and the future of America and, and things like that. But you know what? Don't believe that. They did it for selfish reasons. They did it, they did it really out of fear. They let these beings intimidate them. They let these beings convince them because we have government leaders, especially in military intelligence departments, for as brilliant as they are, they're also faithless to a fault. And being faithless in the midst of something extraordinary like that, the rest of the world not believing, but you know the truth, makes you absolutely deplorable when you do that. When you can just put science before common sense and not see the reality of what they're asking you to do and how you can be held accountable for doing that and not even question to yourself what it is you're about to get involved with and who you're about to stick within that involvement. Make no mistake, the people experimented on at Montauk, whether if they were soldiers, children, or people that volunteered for the project, many of them were just victims at the end of the day. And in fact, the children and the soldiers definitely were victims at the end of the day. They were lied to or not told anything at all. They were brainwashed, they were mind controlled, memories taken away from them of deeds they would never have approved of if they were within their own frame of mind to decide for themselves. You see, governments that lurk underneath the ground know exactly how horrible these experiments are. They know exactly how horrible this technology really is. And they're trying to master this technology to one day put it on a distribution scale to make it safe and fun for the entire family. How much blood has to be spilled for people to have their utopia Disney World? How much blood has to be spilled before a bunch of people find out they were wrong? How much blood has to be spilled until a bunch of people find out how bad they've been lied to and how much they'll demand the truth from then on? We have governments that don't care what happens to you or what happens to our planet or what happens to the universe. Time travel is real. I hate to tell you that, but it actually really is. Demonic beings are real, and they really are disguising themselves as aliens. There are people out there that were subjected to experiments military style, and they have no idea what even happened to them. That's a real occurrence as well. There are people out there being chosen by God to tell you the truths that I'm telling you now, because we have a policy within our governments where churches, educational fields, and your own political leaders will never own up and admit to any of this. They will lie to your face knowing what the truth really is. They will plot and scheme policies that will create racism, division, and hatred when they know exactly why those policies are being fomented in the first place. It comes from the very beings they open doors for at the expense of the blood of American men, women, and children and, and people around the world who are also captured for these experiments as well. Every government on earth has secrets. And their secrets always tie in to that very thing that is found in Montauk, that very thing that lurks underneath Camp Hero, that very thing that only has a force field separating them from us. And it's a force field given by the very beings they think they're protecting us from. It's all become a very wicked game. There is this thing in the supernatural world. You can either believe God or you can believe the things that have rebelled against God and who fancy themselves in all kinds of ways. 
They were called gods and goddesses, aliens, ascended masters, your dead mom, you name it. They've been all kinds of names, all kinds of apparitions to deceive what they can. And they come here for one purpose and one purpose only, not to make any nation strong, not to engage in a gambit or a game where the winner wins and everyone loses, because when it comes to these beings, the human race are the losers, from the first to the last. They're here to set everybody up and take everything over. They could care less what kind of rulers you have that think they're so self-righteous of not because they know what the truth of a human is. Even Jesus knew what a man was at the end of the day. And oftentimes he'd rather just be left to himself. You should think about that for a second. Mankind is prone to destroying their own home, hurting the people that they love, lying to people based on fear, racism, and division. These are very people who dream about a planet that has, what, less than a billion people living on it? These are the very people who dream about their own selfish clique. If they didn't want to live next to people that were different from them, why did you take people's land that was different from them? And why did you drag them into a country if you didn't want them there to begin with? Where do policies like that come from? The very things that lurk within Montauk. People can't think genocidal, homicidal like that, or go absolutely crazy with policies of war that would lead to over 60 million deaths without an outside force guiding them to do it. A force that hates the human race so much, they actually get off on the fact that people hate each other, kill each other, and go after each other in the manner that they do. You live in a world that is lying to you each and every day. They lie to you about many, many things as well. And this is one of the major things that they lie about. Currently, Montauk has set up a lot of their technology, which is frequency-based. Frequency-based that can affect your subconscious mind. Frequencies that literally attack the, the emotional pulls of your heart. We have frequencies aimed at the American people to spy on them, to influence them, to cause them rift, headache, cancer, disease, and things of this sort. They are bleeding out their own population in order to perfect the technology that's been given to them by things that are not human, things they're not related to, and things that often need their help. If they're such a superior advanced race, why do they need you to do anything for them? It amazes me. The people that intelligent can't realize they're being used and deceived because at the end of the day, they're desire-based, they're pleasure-based, and they're fear-based at the end of the day. And no amount of intelligence, no amount of secret information, because that's most of their intelligence, just secret information that someone else figured out for them. And they stole it, took advantage of it, and choose to use it on people without any moral restraint or ethical restraint to what they're doing. No ethical overseer on any of those projects. They just do what they want to anyone's children, to anyone's husband, wife, or person or family member they want because they could care less about families in America. They can care less about your children, and they want to care about something that doesn't even care about them. They abuse scientists. They abuse their own people. This is why Tesla would always quit military projects because he got sick and tired of the fact that that people that would be used in these experiments were not told the full truth and instead were just lied to and subjected to whatever horrors could come when these experiments went wrong and oftentimes they would go wrong. Rarely they would go right. And since they think most of it could be going right now, which it's not by the way, they still want to push it and push it and push it until one day a horrible accident happens that can affect this entire planet, poison our waters, and cause a universe to literally start revolting against this planet. For all the miscalculations this planet causes every time they do weather experiments on our atmosphere, which affects our magnetic poles, which then affects our orbits, which affects the orbital streams of other planets around us because everything is connected by the numbers. And when those numbers are manipulated, those particles and those photons and electrons are then manipulated and everything goes wrong. Understand that when governments are engaging in things that they tell you are science fiction, but they are, but it's actually real, to start off lying to people in the first place is going to show you how far these projects will go. Not very far at all. They will develop things that will only be given over to the things they think are working with them, and only to end up turning mankind into the slaves of their worst enemy. Remember what lurks underneath the dark.
because it needs to be shouted out into the light. With that being stated, join me in a prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, we pray, Lord, for deliverance from Satan, deliverance from his devices, deliverance from his apparitions and his deceptions. Deliver us, Father God Almighty, from wickedness, existing within the realm of political leaders and institutions and factions who set themselves up as devil worshipers before you, influencing and lying to families and initializing horror upon people in order to destroy them. We pray, Lord God Almighty, for deliverance from the enemy of the human race, forgiveness for our sins and improvement within ourselves and forgiveness within ourselves for others as well. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. If you'd like to donate to Shield of the Sun Ministries, we are very much a struggling ministry and we really do need your help. Please go to www.gofundme.com. Once you go to the GoFundMe website, just type in Michael Herr Books and Education. Go to that page at the GoFundMe website. You can also uh, click the link below at these videos. I want to say God bless you to all, and I will see you next video.